decided to ban smoking in all public spaces, which is already angering China's largest smoking population, six-year-old factory workers. <laughs> That's just from the article, that's not it. <laughs> Vanity Fair recently called uh, former President George W. Bush a hipster icon. That's real. And I think it makes sense because, like hipsters, he always was way ahead of his time. <laughs> it's a 2006 joke. <laughs> Another new study revealed that uh, cell phones are 18 times dirtier than a public restroom. So, thanks a lot, Snapchat. <laughs> In other Snapchat news, uh, this is real, uh, Tea Party Senator Rand Paul publicly joined Snapchat this morning. And I think that's a great decision because most of the things that Rand Paul says should disappear within seconds. <laughs> Some mon big Monopoly news. We always have a Monopoly joke in here. Uh, it's being reported that uh, thousands, this is true, thousands of prisoners of war, U.S. prisoners of war from World War II, escaped prison by using Monopoly boards. Which is amazing, because I didn't even know that these things worked. <laughs> The Germans accept it. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but 20 million DirecTV customers just lost the Weather Channel. This is massive news. But uh, don't worry, they just started putting the weather forecast directly embedded into TV shows now. Winter is coming. <laughs> and finally, China just announced this morning that they have created the world's first cloning factory, or as we call it here in the United States, a sorority. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for coming out here tonight. Public Library in Chicago is allowing patrons to look at porn now, um, or as they've been calling it in libraries for years, National Geographic.